Hello Internet! Today I'm going to look at PyTorch Geometric. It is the very first time I have a look at this. And as always, I start with a GitHub. So here we are, PyTorch Geometric. Here we are. As you can see here, we have release 2.0, the latest 29 days ago. And it is always a good sign if you see a hey, last chance 22 hours ago. So this is really an active community. This is fantastic. So PyTorch Geometric is a library built upon PyTorch to easily write and train graph neural networks. And my last two videos, I showed you about graph neural networks. And now this is the first time I have a look at this specific Python library. Of course, it runs on PyTorch. Geometric Deep Learning Multi-GPU Support. This looks great. So here we go. When you are a machine learning researcher or first-time user, yes, I am a first-time user of here. It takes all 10 to 20 line of start. Okay. Most of state-of-the-art graph neural network architectures have been implemented by the library developers or the authors of the research papers and are ready to be applied. Now, this is great. This is exactly what I'm looking for. I want to have access to the latest graph neural network architectures and I just want to apply it. I don't want to play around with tuning, optimizing, whatever. Quick tour for new users. Yes, this is me. I like the ease of creating and training a GNN model with a few lines of code. So here we go. Of course, Torch. Then we have from Torch Geometric and an import graph convolution. Okay, then the data set. Okay, the core data set. Yes, of course, we have our core data set. And then more or less, we define the model. Now, the model, as you can see here, is the GCN, where you have from the data set the features and the classes. And the GCN is defined here. And as I can see here, we have just two layers, two stacked. This is a predefined function. We have our in channels and we go to the hidden channels. And then in convolution two, we have from the hidden channels to our output channels. Okay, this is great. And of course, on one, we apply a ReLU function. This is standard. This is what we know from the other neural networks. Okay, so far so good. This is our newly defined model. Of course, a simple model with just two layers, but this is great to start training. Now, okay, you can create your own GNN layer. Okay, this is beyond my scope for today. Ah, multi-layer framework enables users to build graph neural network solutions. The components, oh, this, is, this is interesting. Let's have a look at it together. So what is PyTorch Geometric? We have an engine layer, of course. It is operating on PyTorch, that's great. Utilizes the powerful PyTorch deep learning framework. We have support for some CUDA cores, this is great. So then we have here in pink, the storage layer. We have, as you know, familiar from Databricks, we have a data loader. We have mini batching. Okay, we have the data, data set transformation of the data sets. Storage handles data processing, transformation, and loading pipelines. Go to provide sampling solution, large scale graph. This is clear. Then we have our main operators. Of course, seem to be here a particular importance on message, message passing your networks. Cluster, pooling, normalization, read out. Okay. Operators bundles essential functions for implementing GNN. Supports important building blocks can be combined and applied to various ports. Okay. And finally, the most precious part I would say is here the GNN models. We have predefined models and examples. So this is what I'm looking for, for example, I suppose you too, if you're a first time user. PyTorch Geometric provides an abundance set of GNN models. This is exactly what we want while we are here. So implemented models, okay, interesting to learn which models are implemented, with which models we can operate here. 
GNN layers, all graph neural layers are implement all. Oh, all GNN layers are implemented via the message passing interface. Okay. Designing different messages, aggregation update functions can be stacked together. This is clear, we have multiple stacks. So at first, yeah, we have the graph convolution from Kipf, famous from 2016. And then we have from Milikovic, the graph attention network. I showed you some, some basic facts in my last video. Expand to see all implemented layers and heaven's sake. Okay, there are a lot of different models. Example, ah, when it came out. Okay, great, super good, okay. Graph attention design with self-supervision. Ah, okay, this, this looks good. 2020, heterogeneous graph transformer. Wow, that's nice. Let's have a look at this. Okay, we have the code, this is great. So this, this sounds interesting. So next thing, pooling layers. Graph pooling layers combine the vectorial representation of a set of nodes in a graph into a single vector representation that summarizes its property of nodes. So we pool together all the different parameters commonly applied on a graph level task, combining node features into a single graph representation. Okay, there we have some different pooling layers spent here to see all implemented pooling layers, global attention. Okay, a lot of pooling layers, great. GNN models. Ah, oh, not to work. This is nice. This is what I'm interested. Deep graph Infomax. I've also heard about this. Okay, nice. Our supported GNN models incorporate multiple message passing layers. Of course, users can directly use predefined models to make predictions on graphs. Great. Expand to see all models. Okay. 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 Then we have scalable GNNs. Okay, yeah, not for the moment. And this is it. So, installation Anaconda, Conda install, Conda Forge channel, Python geographic. Nice. So, PyTorch. Okay, the latest site. Of course, we cite. This is by Matthias Fay and Jen Lanson. Great, thank you for the great work. So and now we have an idea about PyTorch Geometric Dude 2.0. But here we have documentation, paper, call-up notebooks, external resources. So let's go at first to the documentation. Okay. Here we have a K, the and N, the data, the loader, the data sets transformation. This is great. So if we're interested, convolution, dense convolution, normalized global pooling layers, dense pooling layers. Okay. Have and sec, have and sec, parameters, linear convolution layers. Message passing, graph convolution, sage. Okay. Ah, Ben, sake. Wow. Okay. 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 Yes. Nice. Let's start at the beginning. Introduction by example. Okay. So we have a simple graph. Do you have a presentation? Edge index. Tensor presentation. Okay. Common data sets. Yes. Technical University the data set. This is okay. Mini batches, of course, we have batch processing, data transformation, yes. Learning methods on graphs. Hey, learning methods on graphs. We have the core data set. Okay, so more or less we have the same as I already showed you. We have our first convolution layer, and then we have the second. We have our ReLU function, we have a dropout function. Okay, this is what we already know. 
Now the constructor defines two convolutional layers which get called in the fourth pass of our network. Yes. We choose ReLU as our intermediate nonlinearity and finally output a softmax distribution. Yes. We have 200 epochs. Okay, this is what we know. Optimizer, I suppose, will be Adam. Yes, we have here an Adam optimizer. And finally, we evaluate our model. So we have an evaluation and accuracy. So everything we know so far, everything that we are familiar with. Okay, so this is a nice documentation paper. Okay, Colab notebooks and video tutorials. I'm interested in. Yeah, there we go. Okay, list of Colab notebooks, hands on graph. Scaling point class classification. This is interesting. Ah, Google Colab. This is nice. Okay. Point cloud generation. So you can immediately start to play around with this. Interesting. So I will give it a try. I will scan through all the different videos and notebooks. Video, they mean, oh yeah, YouTube videos. Nice. Pytorch Geometric YouTube video. Hey, deep walk, note to back. This is nice. Edge analysis, yeah. Okay, so this was the first look at Pytorch Geometric together with you. And I think I got a first idea. And now I would say, let's play around and if I find something of interest, I will show you in our next video. Thank you.